breezy, lows around 30. Wind chills will make it feel even colder. Later today, partly sunny and very windy, highs in the upper 40s. Winds 30 to 40 miles per hour with gusts to 60. Saturday night. What do you think, man? How did you ride up here? Um, like right back here, the kayak went like that. Mine was thought at me all morning. I stayed away from the uh, the trucks, the big trucks. They were kind of scary. Shifting. So, what do you think? I walked down, and the wind is coming right against the bank. You want to fish? Yeah. I'm not saying it's not fishable, but I think today I'm gonna pass. Okay. I think with the the gusts in the upper 30s, low 40s. I think it's an opportunity as a, as a lesson for my kids to I check the fail. aviation forecast and uh, I think the worst of it is between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Um, I think Juan and I once Juan gets here we'll get you know we'll get down there we'll put a couple hours in and just see how it goes from there Well, it's the day after the mines predicted apocalypse. Uh, the world didn't end, but what we have is basically the worst possible conditions for fishing known to man. So this is gonna be an awesome day. We've got drastically cooling air temperatures. We got projected high winds today, maybe possibly 40 mile an hour gusts. Uh, we've got rising water caused by an inch or so of rain. It's muddy out there. There's almost zero, well, wait a minute. No, there's zero visibility. Um, and so we're really gonna have to work hard today to, to get on some fish and find some really key spots where they're just gonna be, you know, kind of holding up out of the current. And that's basically what we're gonna do today and see how it goes. Dragging baits low and slow. It's gonna be a good day though. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> I'm actually going fairly minimalist today. I don't have my usual tackle box in the back. I'm trying to keep as low a profile on the kayak as possible. I don't want anything extra to keep, you know, to function as a sail to push me around in this, in the wind. This is the extent of my, of what I've got today that I'm bringing for tackle. Um, it's muddy, so I got some very dark profiled lures. Uh, this is a Confidence baits, large bird, bigger, darker profile. This one will float. So on the jig head, that's gonna float up off the bottom. Uh, we actually used stuff like this in uh, the flooded creek mouth pattern section of the winter DVD. Worked very well then. Um, got some little, well, these aren't little tubes, but these are smaller tubes. These are cabin creek tubes. They're black, again, a darker profile. And I'm using the quarter ounce dragon head here, uh, just cause I, I am gonna try and fish out near the current seams. You know, it's not, they're not all gonna be in the slack water. They're gonna move around. They are gonna be compressed. You know, we're not gonna catch anything out in these ledges. I'm not even gonna try. They're all gonna be on the bank. But I'm gonna push the envelope and see if they're they're out near a current seams. In order to do that, I need that quarter ounce head. All right, I've tucked into my spot that I like, and uh, I got good casting lanes despite all the the overhead branches here. That's why I didn't bring so many rods today. I actually brought three, and I've taken two of them and I've to tossed them up on the bank. Just just to make things less complicated. It's complicated enough here with all the, uh, the floating debris and the branches overhead. Kind of feel like a beagle chasing into the brush after a rabbit or something. It's, uh, it's pretty thick in here. Where'd you get them? Right on the edge of the uh, slop line. What is that? A rock bass. Yeah. How cool. He's a big one. It felt like a... It's a pasty. That one yeah, felt like a freaking bat. It felt it's like a what? Bat. Oh, really? Yeah. Usually they hit hard. Oh, we even got a jump. All right. 
first fish of the day on the uh, tube and dragon head. The rattle in there. I really don't want my hand down in there. Uh, I've missed a couple others. It's hard to tell with all the brush that's swirling around in here. You know, the, if it's a fish or if it's just you know a, another branch drifted into uh, into your line, but. This one actually thumped it. So I missed him one earlier because I reared back and my, my line tangled in all the uh they let him go. And all these branches right here. And by the time I got back to the fish, got it untangled, the fish was off. But got one on the board. On the River Smallmouth Winter Patterns DVD, I dedicate an entire section to strike detection, feeling the bite. It can be a very difficult thing to do in winter. Um, so I have a lot of tips and, and good habits to help you do that. I'll share with you two of them that helped me catch the, the fish that I've caught so far today. Uh, one is making short casts, and that works in our favor. It's, it's sort of a natural thing to do in these really tight eddies that are concentrating the fish on this bank. The other is what I just did there. I, I kind of looked over and I thought, all right, is that, is my line moving? I'm watching the line, you know, and in both cases, the fish that I hooked, I could see the line very slowly traveling. I thought I might've felt something, but I wasn't sure if it was um, a, a twig drifting into my line or, or something else going on. But as soon as I see that, that 15 pound bright yellow braid traveling to the left, I knew, that's in a fish's mouth, set the hook. So, short cast, be a line watcher. Oh! Hi there. Aha! Missed a bunch of bites today. It's been a couple hours since I've, I've landed that first one. It has been frustrating. So late in the day to finally get another one to, to hit. I went back to the tube. Feels good. Got him right in the roof of the mouth. I just I missed another one right before him. So ah, yes. Screw you, wind, and screw you, branches. Ah. All right, second fish of the day. Nice uh, 18 incher. Go ahead and put him back. And I think I'm done for the day. It's just getting too cold. The wind's wore on me a little bit too much. Okay, I am back inside my soon to be warm vehicle. Uh, caught two fish today. Had a couple others that I missed, but uh, I'm glad under really difficult conditions that I got those two. Uh, and this is the lure that did it. Now, I rig a quarter ounce Confidence Baits Dragon Head on this thin profile tube, and I have the, the glass rattle in there. Um, and I chose this color, this is black with gold fleck, just because it's a very high contrast uh, profile. Uh, although I didn't fish it like this. What I did is I actually diminished the profile somewhat because in, in winter you'll have a lot of fish that will they'll short hit if you give them a nice long profile. And I actually think that's what happened with a couple of fish that I missed today. Um, is that they would bite the back end of... Um, I missed one on a strap jig and one on a, uh, a large uh, floating bird. So giving giving them that you know slightly shorter profile, um, yeah, made a, may have made the difference with those two fish. But uh, glad to have caught some in uh, really really muddy, um, really high, really cold, really windy conditions. Not a bad day for winter fishing. The new River Smallmouth Winter Patterns DVD will be available January 2013. Pre-order your copy at confidencebaits.net.